In this video, we're going to look at how to make your own custom hand uh, whiteboard animations uh, using the assets here. Now, you can use photographic imagery, and um, you can search them or li search for them on you know something like Google Images, or you could uh, license them on sites like Envato. But um, one of the things that I'd like to point out is the using the vector-based uh, hands is uh, just basically allows for more versatility. We can draw additional ones. If there's something here that you don't want, you can easily go to something like Fiverr or uh, Odesk or Elance and basically show them this as a reference and get them to uh, make a hand that you don't have. Um, on that note, we have three additional hand uh, positions coming in a future update uh, per some initial requests, and so stay tuned for that. But um, note here in these hands that we've got them leveraging the versatility of being able to draw them. We've got them in a couple different perspectives. You can see that you know there's a there's a perspective as if the hand is kind of on the inside of the glass instead of over it. And then you have the over, which is a little bit more common and, um, and so forth. So I'll be using that one. Um, and so let's say that we wanted to take, this is kind of designed to be more like a female hand. Let's say I wanted to use a female hand to drag something, drag something onto the stage. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to really sweat the, the stage size right now. And uh, here's another advantage of using vector-based hands, and that is that um, I can size it without worrying about the resolution. And so if I need to make a really, really big screen or a small screen, once again, having a vector-based hand uh, provides a lot of flex flexibility. So I've, I've, I've made that smaller. So let's imagine that I'm going um, gonna to go ahead and just have, you know, your product name, you know, uh, be dragged onto the stage. And we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and change the color to a more standard black. And then, of course, just do a nice little centering of that text. And um, there's a couple different things you can do to make everything kind of uh, be closer together. Like in that name, there's kind of a big gap. I can break it apart. Keep the lettering editable, uh, but um, make it more so that I can just kind of get them closer together. So I can do something like that. And I'm, I've got that group now. And the one, one thing I want to do is go ahead and put it on a separate layer. And then uh, I'm ready to go pretty much here. Actually, I want to uh, center that. Let's say that I'm going to center that on the screen. And oops, I want to go ahead and center it. And then I want to have this hand basically drag that into position. So. Uh, the way, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a number of different ways that you can go about this um, with uh, utilizing, there's, uh, you can have motion uh, effects, um, you can have a, a motion tween, uh, a motion tween, or you can do more standard simple tweens. Just look at both of them real quick here. So what I like to do is I like to start where I'm going to end. And so if I'm going to end there, and I'm going to have the animation up here, let's do first um, as if I'm going to position it on the stage, and then uh, come off the stage. So what I like to do is go ahead and put some keyframes, as you can see here, and I'm basically allowing for some room to drag it onto the stage and drag it off. And then, um, now, the, the text is going to come from off the stage and then go into position, and then it's going to stay there, right? So I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm going ahead, and I've, I've made two keyframes for the text. One where it's going to be off the stage and one where it's going to be on. And so to, in order to make this a little bit more interesting, one of the, here's a quick little tip. Um, if, you dra if you have the hand come from off the stage, just go straight up and down. It's a little bit more boring. That's not uh, the way a normal organic hand would move, right? It, would, you know, it certainly would not come off the exact same spot it came, back on, it came on. And so in order to kind of just give it a little bit of an organic feel, I recommend that you make it kind of come at an angle. And so I'm going to come down here, I'm going to have the text off the stage. And then inside of Flash, I'm going to just do a very standard classic tween for now. And I put that on both of the layers. And you can see that basically I'm going to have that drag on the stage. Now what I like to do, again, to give it a little bit organic feel, is have a little pause. You know, it's going to like place it. And so it's not going to just, you know, you know, leave it there and, and move in one swift motion. I might add a few keyframes there because I want to feel like I've said it, you know. 
and so it feels just a little bit more organic. I was trying to add a frame there, and so I'm going to set it into position. All right, and then what I want to do is I want to start having it come off the stage here. So I'm going to come all the way to the end, and this time I'm going to um, once again. This time I'm only going to move the hand, and I want to move the hand just kind of a little bit off in the opposite direction. So I've come from this perspective, positioned it, I set it there, give it a slight pause, and then I'm going to come off the stage and all I really need to do here is add a classic tween and that's it I'm ready to go this is a, a nice basic uh, animation where I've, I've set that onto the screen very simple and if I do a, a larger test you can see it in real time and so that's a very simple way that you can do it. now we do have a bunch of animations included that you can use and you can simply edit them the, instead of doing this um, we did include them so that you you know you have something to work with, but it's a lot to look at, and I think that you might find that as I was working with this to make the sales videos for this, for example, I, I didn't really bother with those, and I went ahead and just made them myself and just just customized them once again to get that organic feel. To just you know we're, we're trying to make it look like a human is actually doing this, whether it's hand drawn or or, or photorealistic hand, but um, if I didn't make the point earlier, one of the advantages of having uh, the the photorealistic hand, I mean the, the hand-drawn hands uh, here, is that we can have the, the, the all the different variety. And I, and I know I made that point uh, before, and we can customize it and all that kind of stuff. Now go ahead and look for the video where uh, we talk about how to customize the skin tone. Because that's very easy and fun, and you can do some fun stuff like I did in the sales video where I sort of tried to make it look like a Martian hand and all that kind of stuff. And so it gives you the chance to be creative and do more interesting stuff that keeps your uh, audience engaged.